What is my duty? You pass butter. Oh. <laughs> there we go. How's it going, guys? Dregast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. Starting off with this week, we got, well, obviously it's a flying car here. This is the Flying Ford Model B Coupe, and uh, it's probably the least aerodynamic vehicle that I've ever seen, so of course it's going to work great as a plane, I'm assuming. I've never actually flown it before, so let's try and take this thing off and uh, see how we can do. So first of all, we need to start off the engines here. Uh, there's the top plane engine on. Uh, we're not actually driving it just yet, so we're just gonna go to the open here. Oh, lost a piece of my car. Hopefully I don't need that. Alright, but now that we're out in the open, let's try and give her some actual gas here and see if we can do this. Oh my god, I actually need so much speed to take off. Alright, come on! I, uh, we, we, we need to go quick. Alright, I'm gonna turn here. Oh yeah, we need a huge runway for this thing. Oh shit, I broke it! Oh god, no! Come on, I just wanted to take it off! Alright, I don't think it's gonna work now. Alright, so there's multiple ways to control this thing. I'm gonna try the other control mechanism just to see if it's a little bit better because you're actually steering the vehicle and using both engines at the same time. So we'll try that out, see how this works. So here we go, we got the engine going and now we should just be able to hopefully lift up here. There we go. Oh my god, it's just so heavy. Alright, do I don't want to stall it so we're just gonna kind of slowly go up here but it is... Oh god, kind of working. I thought I was way higher than that. I can't- okay, unfortunately I don't have five hands, so I can't turn while doing this. Oh god, okay, we're okay! Oh shit, we stalled it. Well, oh, turn back on. Oh god, damn it. Alright, well, there, there goes that Ford. Alright, trying it again. What are we at right now in terms of speed? Wow, we're going 270 kilometers an hour, it says. So, uh, yeah, you do need some decent speed to take this bad boy off, but after that, Yes, it can kind of fly, it's just so front heavy, I can't lift it up. Oh god, enough <laughs> to get over some of the mountains. Alright, there we go, I think I actually broke my front propeller, so it's kind of like a glider now. There we go, we just got rid of that, and we totally demolished it. Alright, let's just try and do this jump here and see if I can get so enough air to actually fly with that. Oh, that was so cool, I mean, I wasn't getting enough speed to fly. But, uh, we, we, we kind of glided with style there. That was really cool. Alright, so it's not the best plane that we've seen in Besiege. I'm not really surprised by that. Oh god, there's a wall there. Uh, but yeah, it still works pretty damn well. It's a pretty interesting little design. The Flying Ford Model B Coupe. And we always need some sort of missile. This one is the A9 Ballistic Missile. This is based off of Real World Replica. It was part of the Aggregate Missile Family. That's all I really know about it. So we're gonna take this thing off and see if we can- Oh shit, it's going faster than I expected. So this is supposed to be basically a limitless glider missile. So from what I understand, if you're really good with it, you should be able to glide it for however long you want. And it looks like, actually, yeah, you can actually go up with it. This is impressive, so... Uh, I don't know how it's working. I think it's actually using some Besiege glitches to allow it to glide for so long. Still really cool, though. This is a, a missile that I am totally controlling, as you can tell. Shit. All right, let's try this again. This time, I'm, I'm getting the hang of flying this thing. The problem is, it's 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 obvi obviously, its wingspan is not that wide, so uh, any minute movement changes its path drastically. So I'm just trying to kind of glide in here. I'm going to go... Ho! Oh. I'm gonna go into the mountain. Alright, but what I meant to do was hopefully, yes, take out that tower. This thing for a missile, very difficult to aim, but it just looks so freaking cool. I love that it kind of looks like a fighter jet. Obviously, it is not one. Uh, and the fact that you can endlessly glide with it is amazing. So let's take down, there we go, some of the peasant village there. That was actually a really impressive explosion. You know what? Let's try and explode a different creation. How about that? Alright, so I figured this would be a big enough target. This is actually Salazar's ship from the new Pirates of the Caribbean that released last night. I actually went to see it. it wasn't too bad, so I thought we would, uh... Try and blow this thing up. So if you don't know, oh shit! I I just I just I just launched the rocket. Oh god. Okay, I'll I'll show you the ship later if we can. Oh. Okay, that's not good. All right. So now we know. Uh, don't press that button because it launches the rocket. Now that I'm in control, we can actually do that, and we'll see if we can take out this very large ship. This is actually gonna be really cool because. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. No, I didn't want. Oh, come back to me. No. Okay, we did it again. 
Okay, we should officially be good now. I've taken off the cameras off the ship, so hopefully they don't interfere with my rocket here. So the ship is actually over there. We're just going to go around a little bit, slow it down a little bit. It actually is getting a little bit laggy as well. And I do want to slow down this game, so let's just... Oh, oh God. Oh, don't, don't kill myself. Okay, so now we're nice and slow. Let's go hit that thing. Target direct ahead! Look at this badass looking ship. This is the perfect thing to slowly explode because it's basically already a skeleton anyways. And... Oh, beautiful. It actually didn't explode as much as I expected. I guess uh, there wasn't that much weaponry in this thing. Or is it stuck in the ground? I think it's actually stuck in the ground and that might be why. Let's try one more time real quick. And one more for good luck. There we go. Oh, that was a little better. It actually pushed it that time. Uh, but yeah, we didn't actually have that much explosives in that. Still, we totally decimated poor Salazar's ship here. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So that was the A9 ballistic missile. So yeah, I thought I would quickly show you guys Salazar's ship too, because it's actually an impressive replica. I like that uh, the middle mast is actually broken, just like in the movie. Now, if you don't know what this ship is, basically it is a ghost ship uh, from the newest Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and it actually devours ships. So how it does that is it lifts up its nose here, and it kind of just eats the ships. Uh, really cool. It actually looks remarkable in this game. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't float or anything. I was hoping we could actually drive this thing around, but no, it's just kind of a, a visual reference. Mind you, it does have, as you saw, uh, some different views on it. So we got the, uh, gun views, which we can shoot the guns. Uh, that was the wrong side, but there we go. We got the guns on it, and you can totally rotate these as well. So I think that's pretty cool. But the coolest thing about this is just the attention to detail, because it looks just like that other ship. It's even got the front guy, uh, that, you know, kind of... I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers, but does some pretty interesting stuff in the movie. So yeah, that's Salazar's ship. I hope uh, the developer actually develops it a little bit more to the point where it can float or even fly. I think it'd be really cool if they made this a flying ship. I know it's not technically a flying ship in the movie, uh, but still, it could totally be in this game. Ah, oh, this is... This is, this, this, is, this is the internet right here, guys. This is the ultimate meme machine... Uh, this is, this is, this is cringeworthy to the next level. This is called The Final Boss. It's actually based off of a meme. Uh, if you can't tell what this is, well, over here we got, of course, the legendary fidget spinner. Over here we got part of a swagway. And then over on this side, we have a vape. <laughs> yes, I'm not fucking joking. So yes, this is, uh, it, <laughs> it doesn't even fucking work because of how much of a joke it is. But yes, this is called The Final Boss. It was a meme on the internet, and uh, one of the developers, actually Phenome, decided it would be fun to put it in Besiege for some fucking weird reason. Now, it does do shit. First of all, we can... Okay, well, you're supposed to be able to fly with it. I guess I guess this is... This is this is when memes go too far, and this is what flying looks like, I guess. Now, probably the best thing it can do is still be a kind of a fidget spinner. It can kind of spin, and you can also, of course... Oh my god, that's, uh, that, that, that's Chuck and Mad Vapes. Uh, you can, of course, let's stop it for a second here, vape with it as well. What the hell has this game become? Seriously. This is, uh, oh, looks like my vape sprung a leak there. This is, this is, this is the internet right here in, in, in a nutshell right now. Of course, we also just got the, uh, basic vape here. Now, arrow keys, <laughs> arrow keys are supposed to drive it. Is it supposed to, is it maybe supposed to fall on the back, maybe? All right, uh... No, it's just, it's, 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 you're, you're not supposed to drive a vape. That's the problem here, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious, though. It looks like this might be a pad. So if we put it on that, can we, no, you can't drive it. Okay. Well, in zero Gs, you can kind of drive it. I mean, it's kind of just flying everywhere. All right, let's just vape with it and get it over with. Uh, yep, you can do the exact same thing as the last one, except this is an actual vape. Isn't that amazing? And we may as well not end it off without checking out the swagway as well, yes. So basically, this is all three of the creations I showed you guys the fidget spinner last week put into one. This one, though, it actually works like a swagway, you know, the front, uh, to turn, you put one in the front, one in the back, and you can do some spins with it. Uh, that's all it really does. It quite literally is a swagway. Mind you, it does have a boost on it, so let's try that out. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, uh, yep, that, that's definitely a swagway on fire. I broke it, and it's flying away. So yeah, I think that's enough memes for one week. I apologize that I put you guys through that. Whoa, that's impressive. Let's see if we can do, uh, some crazy fire donuts here. But yes, uh, there is a bunch of memes for you guys.
All right, next up we got, uh, well, uh, it, it's, it's kind of a tank. Uh, it's, it's, it's got tank treads, let's just say that. Uh, it's actually something that I'm very, very scared about, so obviously you can drive it just like a tank here. Uh, we'll get into more of the movements of it in a short second here, but I just want to see this transformation, because it looks pretty impressive from what I've seen. So here we go, let's see if it can do it. Oh, shit. Oh, my. is going on stop stop oh god you're gonna hurt everything okay um so what happened there was a fucking tank just turned into a praying mantis and it did a front flip for whatever reason i have no idea i guess it just wanted to and you know what it can totally do that if it wants to let's try and do that again though maybe maybe that was a fluke so here we go transformation time all right praying mantis is kind of out let's make sure we can oh part part oh god okay okay it keeps doing it why is it what, what, what is giving it that much power to do that? Is it because I have invincibility on? Because I just assumed with a creation of this size, you need invincibility on. So let's try it one more time here. I just want to see the mantis. There we go. Oh, oh, the head is, the head's broken now. What the, what, head, you broke off. All right, it's, uh, it's really impressive. Like, the transformation's impressive, but every time it, we do this, it just, it starts moving forward like this. I think I got it, guys. The the Mantis doesn't want to move forward this time, so I just want to see... Oh my god, it's actually got uh, walking controls on it as well. So, it quite literally is a Transformer, because I didn't think the legs would work. But you can see it is walking with its legs as well, so it can be a tank or it can be a creepy-ass Mantis tank. <laughs> Look at this thing. By the way, I'm very scared of Mantises, so uh, I immediately cringed when I saw this thing... And, uh, I didn't want to use it because these things are probably the only insect that actually scares me. There's just something alien-like about them, and I, I, I just, I don't like it. Look at that, I took a bomb and I totally survived it. Alright, but we do have some weapons on these things. First of all, we got flamethrowers, okay, right on the front. Numpad Zero to shoot the old classic missile, so yes, we got the fan with a bomb in the front, so let's try and shoot that. The Whoa! Where did it go? I expected it to go maybe 10 feet and then explode, but no, it went into the fucking heavens. All right, and that's it for weapons. Mind you, he does have some animation too. He can turn his head, he can close and open his his creepy mandibles. And he can even open and close his little pincers. Oh god, oh, that's just... Okay, I, I reset it unintentionally, but I just wanted it to end. So yes, uh, that is the Mantis tank. Uh, by the way, we didn't really try driving it around as a tank, but it totally works as a tank, too, I swear. And, uh, yes, this is, uh, pretty damn horrifying. I love the transformation process, though, when it does work. Every, every, every 10% of the time, as you can see. <laughs> Regardless, a really awesome design. Now let's move on before I uh, get a little bit more creeped out by this thing, because it is absolutely horrifying. There we go. That was a good transformation. Okay, this one excites me. So we got a uh, crotch rocket here. This is actually made by uh, a Chinese developer, so I don't know much about the actual crotch rocket here, but it looks really impressive. Now, I've never seen a two-wheeled creation in Besiege that can actually kind of go on its own, so let's see here. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, God, okay, so it definitely does have some lightness blocks on it, but I think, I almost want to say there's like a gyro in there that's keeping it stable, oh my God, there is, look at that, so that is how it keeps balance, is it's just constantly shifting its weight in the middle of it, and we also got these back engines that I think this is how it keeps it up, uh, by using these propellers here, I honestly don't know much about stability in this game, but I think I do know enough to kind of understand this, and that is really cool. Oh my god, it feels like a bike too, which is the weirdest thing. You really have to lean to turn. Uh, how fast are we going? Jesus. Okay, we were going almost 300 kilometers an hour there until we totally destroyed the thing. This is just so impressive. I'm... I'm blown away by some of these, uh, especially in the Chinese community, some of the creations that they can make is just amazing. All right, I want to see how fast we can get this thing up to, though, uh, because we did get it... Oh, God, every every time I come over here, uh, it's just it's really hard to keep it stable on this little road here, especially with how big this bike is. Obviously, uh, a little too big for this road here, but we did okay that time. Let's see if we can... Oh, I'd love to get it up to 300 if I could, but no. We're, 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 I think we're going down. Oh, God. God. Damn it. All right, on the straightaway again. This time, I'm very straight, as you can see. 293! We did it! 301! Oh, God, stay on it! 
314. Oh man, this thing, this thing's got some speed on it. So uh, I did take off invincibility as well. So this should be fun. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, okay, I destroyed that thing. And of course, the same designer had to make a Miku version because, well, it's Miku and everybody seems to love Miku. Aside from me, whoa! Whoa, I just noticed we're getting a panty shot in there. Sorry about that, guys. I, I didn't expect that on this creation. Uh, Jesus Christ, works just like the other one, though. Except it's a little bit more top-heavy for uh, Miku reasons. Let's just say that. All right, a little bit more hard to drive, but okay, you know what? I, I, I can't look at the back anymore, guys. It's just, it's there now, and I can't not notice it. Uh, but of course, I can't really drive with the front either, so the struggle is real right now. Uh, but yeah, really, I gotta be honest, this is amazing, though. Like, it, it looks like an animated rider. R rider. Her head moves as I move. You can see it actually seems to follow where I turn. Uh, and it just looks very realistic. Oh, shit, I think I just lost your leg. I'm, so I'm sorry, Miku. This is just so cool to me. I, I, I've never had, like, a crotch rocket in this game. So the fact that we have two now to play around with is just amazing. Definitely not the easiest things to steer, as you guys can probably tell. But still, oh, God. Oh, what? Okay, M M Miku's not doing so well anymore. <laughs> but still, really freaking cool. So yes, that was uh, a couple of crotch rockets. I don't know what they're called again because it's in Chinese, but uh, link me in the description if you do want to play with them for yourself. And last but definitely not least... <laughs> We got Rick's Butter Robot from Rick and Morty. Now, if you don't know anything about this, just know that his whole job is to pass butter. He lives a pretty anticlimactic life. Uh, he's pretty depressed about it, but of course, he's made his way over to Besiege, so that's pretty damn epic. So, the goal of this, it is kind of like a mini game. We got a little outline on the ground here. We need to bring the butter from over here to over there. Again, that's this whole robot's job is to pass butter. If we do that, we get a little fireworks show over there. So hopefully we can do this first try. So let's get the robot ready here so you can control his arms. There we go, lift him up a bit, put them forward. Now we need to look down. Oh yeah, just like that. And rotate those arms so it can hold it. All right, should we go down a little bit more? Yeah, let's make sure that butter's directly in there. And now we just, oh, 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 make sure I'm using both of my tank treads. Don't want to just use one. There we go. <laughs> And I'm passing the butter. So yes, this is a, this is obviously a reference to Rick and Morty. So if you haven't seen it, I do recommend you go watch it so you can understand. But uh, yes, this is the butter passing robot. What is my duty? You pass butter. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I pass the butter. Now hopefully, give it a second. There we go. The fireworks show goes off. At least this one gets a cool fireworks show when it does it. So yeah, that was Rick's Butter Passing Robot, an absolutely amazing design, and that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besiege Creations, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.